In this video, we'll be creating this analog clock using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Get ready for it and let's dive into the code. Hello friends, this is CodeCraft Learn coding fastly and efficiently. I have created a HTML and CSS file. Now the first thing is that I have also linked this CSS file. The first thing is that I will create a div here and the class name will be its clock. And inside this div I will create another div and class name will be wrap by one class name will be is, uh, hour and the next will be span class name will be is, um, that's all uh, and now i will go to my css wrap first will be overflow hidden the next i will start for the body inside this i will see it will be 100 pH now I'll run the server here live server as you can see the preview of this this background color is changed go to my CSS again next style for the clock first background color will be Now the next I will style for the minute and also for the hour. The first will be position absolute, which will be six pixel. That's good. I will show the free view of this. As you can see, this is good. And the next, uh, I will say how to also. Uh, I will give the Z index over here. It will be one. Next for the minute alone, and this will be absolute. As is good, as you can see. The this needle has also, I mean, the rotate applied on the needle. Now the next style style for the second. First will be with two pixel. I think that's good. You can see the seconds. Uh, this is the second needle and in the red color for the second next i will start for the dot and here the first thing will be position absolute top zero there's no need of this there we go you can see the dot has been visible as you can see but the next uh, is here now the next i will create uh, a javascript file here start uh, uh, styling i mean not styling start uh, logic for uh, rotating these needles with seconds here the next first thing uh, uh, first of all i have to link the javascript also in order to apply all the things I will use the script src and to the script for js. I'm going to use JavaScript. The first I will say where increment I mean increment equal to thousand. That will be the call function. Take that. This is something like I don't know, but uh, first of all, I will create a function clock const date equal to new date. Next will be const hours will be equal to I think 
and you like it here will be d dot get hours and plus eleven and I think we have to this first one yes and so I will also add another bracket here that's good next will be phones minutes equal to d dot get minutes d dot get seconds this is more seconds out of all hour cost hour equal to hours it will be um, multiply by 30 and also const minute equal to minutes multiply by 6 const second equal to seconds multiply by 6 so and the next I will select uh, the span I mean the hour which I give the hour class and use the query selector use the dot hour and also say style style dot and this is not good this is not pretty good yeah. I think I have to disable this style dot how can I disable this it's there so style load transform equal to and will be uh, rotate rotate that's good mm. and the dollar hour and this will be dg that's good but I have, I have to wrap this in a template and literal that's pretty good next I will copy the same now I will call the function here that's good and now I'll also use the set interval first with the clock and I can see set interval function here now that's good I will go to my browser again and you can see the clock I think is rotating the needle of the second is rotating and also the needle of the hour and the second completes uh, duration city second and the needle of the minutes will be also uh, goes and hours or needle of goes and that's how you can design or build a simple analog clock i hope you will have as you can see the needle moves i hope you will have enjoyed this project and if you like the video press the like button and also press the subscribe button in order to get more video like this i have a bunch of html css projects in my channel you can check out this on the playlist thanks for watching the video